TikTok is basically my home right now, and it's not just a platform anymore. Well, TikTok means so much to me. It's my hobby. It's my passion. It's my escape place. TikTok is really, really important, especially here in the United States, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world with the pandemic, because here they are finding a very, very special platform where they can be themselves. If we were to lose TikTok, it would be losing who we are as a person. The trend for our generation right now is TikTok. So, everyone is talking about TikTok. Yes, within just three years, TikTok has gained more than 40 million active users in the US, with over a third of them are teenagers. And it's growing fast. Ranking number one among downloaded apps worldwide in the first quarter of 2020, the new kid is challenging Facebook, Instagram, and other social media giants in the US. The platform has given me so many things that I couldn't do before, like some business, some company I work with. Everything is possible on TikTok. A lot of people who message me on TikTok, people telling me that what I've said has impacted their life. Now they look at life a lot more positive. That just encourages me to create the content and get the message out to even more people. However, not everyone is happy as some see it as a threat. We're looking at TikTok, we may be banning TikTok. With parent companies based in China, apps like TikTok, WeChat and others are significant threats to personal data of American citizens. I mean, really? Here's what the experts are saying. There's nothing on TikTok right now. And certainly from an intelligence standpoint, TikTok specifically does not seem to offer up much in the way of high quality intelligence. These are teenagers sharing videos of themselves and sounds like an excuse. It is politically fueled. He's using it as a weapon. It's just to help the Trump administration during this political season. Creators also have their own thoughts, with some even pointing their fingers at Facebook. The fact that Facebook is still around for selling user data to another company, that doesn't make sense, it doesn't correlate. So what's the issue here? The national security threat is just like an excuse. FBI, they also said that they haven't found any evidence. We also have like more than thousands of employers in the US, so I don't think that those employers is also spying on us. What Trump is doing is not legal. They didn't give TikTok the chance to talk about it, to show the actual facts. It is against freedom of speech and our rights. Hmm. In that case, it may help to understand why TikTok is so attractive. Because TikTok has a few uh, special things about it that some of these other platforms don't have. If I create content for Instagram, it is a little harder to get seen than TikTok has an incredible algorithm that I don't think can be replaced or replicated anytime soon. Everyone can be famous on that platform. For a lot of people, they gonna turn TikTok to a business. Right now, it's 2020. Everything is possible. Speaking of business, it may help to look into how it works, or more exactly, how users can make money. Look, there are four main income sources, live streaming, brand deals, ads, and even a $200 million creator fund to reward thousands of qualified, innovative creators. So how big an impact would a band have on them? It took four years to get to where we're at. Our art is on this platform. It'll be so hard for us. For many creators who is already very famous, she still can hold for like more than one year, but like readers so who's like in the middle, it's gonna be hard for them. It's gonna affect me immensely because I'm gonna have to build that following all the way back. If Trump decides to ban TikTok, it's gonna completely turn everyone against him. It's just a president and he works for the country. Even though Microsoft or other US companies have been in talks to buy TikTok recently, concerns still remain. You can see like Vine a few years ago when Twitter bought Vine. They wanted to make some change, they failed, and then the platform is completely gone. Company by then, they have been creating the technology for a long time. No company wants to sell their technology to other companies. Trump is for sure forcing TikTok to sell. It's very un-American. Whatever company that does buy it, I really hope they don't change it to a significant amount. Can they replicate that technology? Is time will tell, but control what you can control.
That's our future and we have to fight for it. That's something we gotta protect and defend as Americans. TikTok has been my home and where I've built my community and you can't replace this app with something else.